Carl. It's not the only one. Yeah, yeah, here, look at this. There are thousands of them. Thousands. And they're pissed. You know, I've heard of this happening. It's like those baby alligators in New Jersey. Someone leaves them and then they breed. Did you know there is no such thing as a fish? Yes, really, it's a fact. Each species of fish is so different to every other type of fish that simply put the word fish to describe all of them is scientifically inaccurate because they're all too different to fit under one umbrella. Here are the 15 weird fishes you won't believe actually existed. Number 15, the frog fish. This one is funny looking. Looks like a pinata or a yellow sponge. Reminds me of SpongeBob. It's okay if you're not sure what it is. We were confused too. Can you believe it's actually a fish? It's called the frogfish because, well, it looks like a frog. Frogfish always look surprised, which makes them popular for divers to take pictures of. They're part of the anglerfish family, with about 50 different kinds. You can find these strange fish in warm ocean waters, but they're hard to find because they're small and blend in well. They're only about 12 inches long, like a Subway sandwich. If you think they're weird to look at, wait until you see how they move. Instead of swimming smoothly, they sort of walk along the ocean floor with their modified fins. It's pretty strange, but that's just how frogfish do things. Number 14, the spotted ratfish. Can you believe the spotted ratfish is related to sharks? About 400 million years ago, it split from sharks and became its own kind of fish. Today, this fish is quite interesting. The spotted ratfish doesn't have scales and can grow up to 24 inches long. A lot of that length comes from its weird tail. As you might guess from its name, it's a funny color. Mostly brown and gray with white spots. These colors cover its face that looks a bit like a rabbit, its triangle-shaped side fins, and a short fin on its back that has a poisonous spine. Quite a character, huh? Even though it's a deep water fish, does something different from others like it. It migrates close enough to where deep sea fishermen can catch it in their nets. But be careful if you handle it. It has big spines that are venomous and can cause painful wounds. And if you catch one, watch out for their gender too. The male spotted ratfish has sharp organs that aren't very nice to touch. Blue Planet 2. Being able to switch sex maximizes the chances of passing on genes if environmental or social circumstances should change. Number 13. Leafy Sea Dragon Have you ever wondered why you haven't spotted a leafy sea dragon while swimming along the southern and western coasts of Australia? You might have thought it was just seaweed, and that's totally understandable. Even when you take a closer look at this marine fish, it's hard to believe it's a living, breathing creature. The leafy sea dragon is one of the most extravagantly decorated animals I've ever seen. It's covered in leaf-like projections all over its body. You might think these are just for decoration, but they're actually for camouflage. They use their pectoral fin on their neck and dorsal fin near their tail to move around. The leafy bits are like their fancy outfit. These little critters grow to about 9.5 inches long and have the cute nickname, Leafies. They're also the marine emblem of South Australia because they're just so adorable. Even their movements are a bit peculiar. They use the fins on their necks to turn and steer, but because their skin is stiff, they're not very agile. They also like to hang out in one spot for up to almost three days, but can zip around as much as 490 feet in an hour when they feel like it. Number 12, Pink See-Through Fantasia. Ah, the Pink See-Through Fantasia. Now this fish is a real head-turner, but not in the traditional sense. Picture this, a fish with a delicate, translucent pink body, almost like it's made of jelly. Its eyes are tiny, almost comically so, and its mouth seems to be perpetually puckered into a surprised or curious expression. Believe it or not, these peculiar creatures belong to a family of sea critters known as glasshead barrel eyes. Despite their unusual appearance, they're perfectly suited to their deep-sea habitat. Their see-through bodies allow them to blend seamlessly into the dark, deep waters where they reside. Living at depths of up to 2,500 feet, where the pressure would crush most other fish, the pink see-through Fantasia's delicate appearance is actually quite clever. It's adapted to its environment in a way that seems almost magical, making it a true marvel of the ocean depths. Number 11. The Blobfish 
Oh, just look at these guys with a face like Mr. Magoo or a piece of rude graffiti. The poor old blobfish gets a whole bunch of abuse declared by some to be the ugliest animal in the world. The blobfish is kind of fascinating. Their features can sometimes look eerily human, but in a funny way, like a grumpy old cartoon grandpa rather than something spooky. For example, blobfish got a big, jelly-like head with huge lips, small eyes, and often wears a particularly displeased expression. These poor fish are part of a family of sea creatures usually called fathead sculpins. They just can't seem to catch a break. But despite their funny looks, the blobfish is actually perfectly suited to where it lives. Its jelly-like appearance comes from having very few bones. It hangs out at depths of up to 2,000 feet, where the pressure would crush any other fish. So the blobfish's squishy body doesn't seem so silly after all, does it? Number 10. The Parrotfish When you hear about the parrotfish family, get ready to raise those eyebrows. It's not long before you see why they're called that. Just take a quick glance and you'll spot their beak-like mouths that resemble a parrot's. But wait, there's more. These fish are real masters of disguise. They can switch up their colors and patterns throughout their lives, adding an extra layer of intrigue. Now, here's where things get really wild. At night, parrotfish slip into their pajamas. And no, we're not talking about cozy flannels like we wear. They fashion a snug cocoon out of mucus from a special organ on their head and then drift off to dreamland. Scientists believe this slimy nightcap helps hide their scent, keeping them safe from nocturnal predators like moray eels. But don't underestimate them during the day. While other fish might pose more of a threat to them, parrotfish are on a mission. They're serious reef gardeners. They munch on algae, ripping it off in big chunks from the reefs. Then they grind it up using the teeth in their throats. Yep. These fish are definitely living life on their own terms. Number 8. The Flying Fish Just when we thought we'd seen it all. Gliding fish, walking fish, even speedy swimmers. Along comes the flying fish. What's next? Driving fish. SpongeBob SquarePants probably has that one covered. Flying fish, also known as flying cod, call tropical and subtropical waters home, lurking at depths of around 656 feet. While they can't soar through the air like birds, They've got a nifty trick up their fins. They can launch themselves out of the water and glide above the waves using their wing-like fins. Believe it or not, these incredible fish can spend around 45 seconds in flight and cover distances of about 160 feet. Talk about a getaway. And guess what? Barbados is such a fan of these airborne acrobats that it's even earned the title Land of the Flying Fish and become one of the country's symbols. Now that's something to fly high about. Number 7. The Stonefish In the hustle and bustle of the ocean, you've got your hard-working predators like sharks, putting in the effort to snag their dinner. But then there's the stonefish, the epitome of laziness. But hey, when you're as good as it is at getting food without lifting a fin, why bother? Stonefish are masters of disguise. They blend into coral and rocky reefs so perfectly that even scuba divers, predators, and prey often don't notice them sneaking by. Some even have algae growing on them, adding to their invisibility. Picture this, lying in wait, looking just like a harmless stone, until an unsuspecting fish swims by. Then, quick as a flash, the stonefish strikes. With jaws of steel, they suck in their prey and swallow it whole. It's like hitting up the drive through for a fish burger. Easy peasy. Number 6. Black Chimera the black chimera might give you a shiver down your spine, especially if you spot one in the deep ocean. It's similar to the spotted ratfish, but has its own eerie vibe. This cartilaginous fish goes by a few names like redfish, spookfish, and ghost shark, and for good reason. Its body is covered in strange black lines, making it look like it's been pieced together from chunks of other fish. They're mostly made of cartilage, with smooth, naked skin, and a big venomous spine in front of their dorsal fin for defense. Surprisingly, they're close relatives of sharks despite their eerie appearance. They lay their eggs in leathery cases and use their keen sense of smell to hunt down prey. Number 5. The Glass Catfish The glass catfish is like an open book, or should I say, an open fish. Everything about them is on full display. No need for fancy tests or x-rays. 
They're completely transparent, so you can see all their organs and bones. Even their tail fin is barely visible. But don't worry. They give off a subtle shimmer, so you won't accidentally swim into a whole school of them and get a fright. But even if you did stumble upon a bunch of these tiny transparent fish, they likely wouldn't mind. They're pretty chill and tend to hang out in peaceful schools rather than swimming solo. And get this. You can even keep them as pets if you're into that sort of thing. They only grow to about five inches long. But there's more to these see-through wonders than meets the eye. They've got these big whisker-like barbels sticking out from their heads, giving them a rather peculiar appearance. Despite their transparent nature, these glass catfish are probably some of the least alarming fish out there. Number 4. Halamita Ghost Pipefish These intriguing creatures are like distant relatives of seahorses, but they definitely have their own unique flair. Imagine a fish that perfectly mimics algae, down to the tiniest detail, white patches, algae strands, the whole shebang. It's not by accident, though. When you place them among cactus algae in their natural habitat, they blend in seamlessly. You'd hardly know they were there until you took a closer look. And when the babies hatch, they're just as skilled at disappearing into their surroundings as their parents. These stealthy creatures are so good at hiding that scientists didn't even describe them until 2002. Talk about a mysterious addition to the underwater world. Number 3. The Goblin Shark The Goblin Shark, lurking in the depths of the ocean, looks like a nightmare mashup of a frightening alien face and a squashed dinosaur shark. It's honestly quite horrific to behold. But as they say, you shouldn't judge a book by its cover or a shark by its appearance. So... Are these guys as terrifying as they look? Well, with its long snout on top and a set of razor-sharp teeth on the bottom, this shark seems well-equipped for some serious predatory action. It has a rather peculiar technique for catching its prey, too. The goblin shark can actually shoot out its jaws in a sudden snapping motion to grab passing prey, then reel its jaws back in and enjoy its meal. Number 2. The Lionfish The lionfish is like the haute couture model of the sea, its fancy frills and striking appearance have made it a long-time favorite among aquarium enthusiasts. But don't let its glamorous looks fool you. This fish is actually causing quite a stir. Unfortunately, its presence is more of a menace than a marvel. Considered an invasive species, the lionfish has been wreaking havoc on delicate ecosystems by voraciously devouring all sorts of creatures it shouldn't be meddling with in the first place. From upsetting the balance of marine life on reefs, to gobbling up too many parrotfish, these invasive predators are throwing off the delicate equilibrium of underwater ecosystems. And with the ocean already facing pressures from climate change, overfishing, and pollution, the invasion of these greedy creatures is adding insult to injury. Number 1. African Butterfly Fish Meet the African Butterfly Fish, a pint-sized wonder measuring just 5.1 inches. But don't let its small size fool you. This fish is full of surprises. With its oversized pectoral fins, it's sure to make you do a double-take. This unique fish is a surface hunter, spending much of its time skimming the water's surface in search of tasty treats. You'd think it would realize the good stuff is down below, but hey, to each their own. It dines on small fish and aquatic insects, making good use of its large swim bladder, which allows it to breathe air. Maybe if it looked below the surface, it wouldn't need all that extra gear. Native to standing bodies of water in West Africa, the African butterfly fish prefers water temperatures between 73 to 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Interestingly, these surface dwellers also breed on the water surface. They produce large eggs that float on the surface, hatching within just one week. So while they may have some peculiar habits, there's no denying the fascinating nature of the African butterfly fish.